so even an old buzzard like me shouldn't sound like this on the air. Let's check it out. So here's the newest patient for D-Lab, a Knight T60 transmitter came in for a checkout. So I thought, all right, I'll hook her up, get the old dummy load there, and we're gonna listen in this beautiful NC300 receiver on 80 meters 3.880, which is where the guy plans to operate it. However, the transmitter has an issue which will prevent him from putting it on the air until I get it fixed. So monitoring on the NC300 AM mode, we'll just put out a CW carrier, about uh, 25 watts or so on the Drake, and you can hear that hum. We'll go to AM. One, two. It's got great uh, modulation, but that buzz will drive all of your ham radio buddies nuts, and they'll give you a bad audio report so I'm sure I know what it is. We'll take a look at it and I'm sure you'll see it too. Here we go. We'll start top side on the T60 transmitter. You can see she's pretty clean. All the tubes are installed. This is your power transformer, output meter, tuning caps. Here's your output loading coil. And here is the high voltage filter capacitor. This is a 20 microfarad 600 volt cap. And as you can see, it's an original. So if you have that buzz in the output, what's the first thing to suspect? Yep, that cap. Let's take a look underside. Here we are underneath, same deal. Look right there, you got two 40 microfarad caps at 350, and they are the originals. They don't look too awful bad. Usually you see the little zit popping out of the end of them. This one's not, but they're old, they're crusty, they have to leave, and no, I'm not gonna check them, right? They're already like 50, 60 years old. They're coming out, and that should solve our hum issue. All right, we'll start with these 40 microfarad guys. They're coming out, and I'm gonna put in these little radio mounts instead. So I'm gonna wire them to this terminal board, and where these two meet up, I'm gonna have a jumper wire going up there to make that connection. All right, since the safety police always ask me, yes, guys, I'm gonna take a meter and make sure that these guys are dead before I cut them out. All right, there's the new caps installed. Got these old M80s out of there. Getting ready to go top side, change the other one. So the 600 volt one, you can see that they actually grounded to the stud here that actually clamps in the cap. This lead takes off underneath to feed the high voltage. Have a new capacitor right here. Frontier capacitor, 25 microfarad, 600 volts. She'll fit in there, should be a little on the tight side, but it shouldn't be a problem. So you can see, I put in the old Frontier and removed old Buzz Lightyear. Now to mount this guy, I'm not going to use the clamp. I'm going to use this E6000 adhesive. You guys see me use this quite a bit. It's extremely strong. And it'll hold that cap right in place. And while that is gluing, I'm going to bring this guy up on a variac slowly to make sure that we don't damage the new caps. You know, eliminate the shock factor. All right, so I've got the variac set up. I'm going to take this guy and put him in standby. Okay. Make sure we're pulling some current. Yes, I am. My voltage is at about 30 volts input. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just put it into transmit mode. It's not going to hurt anything, but that will charge the high voltage caps. Then I'll come over here, bring out my Variac a little bit. There's 50 volts. Look at the current. Looks good. Should be safe to apply full power now. Right, so we'll put her in CW first and watch the meter. It's a little healthier now. I'm getting about a little over 30 watts, whereas before I had uh, around 25. So that's a good sign. Obviously the filter caps made a difference. Next thing I'm going to do is slide this guy in the cabinet and we'll hook the mic up and listen to the AM. Well here's a final test of the Knight T60 transmitter after repair. I moved it out here to the ham shack because I kind of ran out of room in the shop. So I've got it hooked here into a dummy load monitoring on another 
NC300 receiver. First, we'll listen to the CW tone. Sounds good and clean. Now, let's go AM mode. Alright, we switched over to AM mode. Let's see how clean she is. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. Sounds crystal clear. What a great sound a little AM transmitter that thing is, huh? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, she's shaking her head, yeah. Yes, ah. it sounds wonderful. Excellent. So another case of those old filter caps causing buzz and hum, but now the old Knight T60 is ready for the AM net. Hope you liked the video.